Hello, my name is Todd Schoenbaum, and in this program I would like to share with you our techniques and protocols for immediate implant provisionals in the aesthetic zone. The primary goal of this program is to create prosthetic techniques which will maximize the volume of soft tissue post-surgically, minimize trauma and unpredictability to the site while maximizing the accuracy and efficiency of the definitive outcome. I like to approach the provisional restoration in a three-stage approach. The screw retained provisional restorations which we'll be discussing are for use when we cannot deliver the definitive abutment at the time of surgery. For me, the three-stage approach helps separate the different requirements and goals of each stage of the provisional restoration. It is a mistake to think of the provisional implant restoration as simply a temporary there to replace the, aesthetic, the aesthetics of the natural teeth for the short term while the patient is recovering from surgery. In the first stage, the primary goal of the provisional will be to protect the surgical site and maximize the aesthetic gingival outcome of the case. As we move into the second stage a few months later, we will be definitively shaping the gingiva of the peri-implant site so that our technician can have an accurate representation on the cast. In the third and final stage, we will share some techniques that we've developed to transfer this information very efficiently and accurately to the cast in such a way that we minimize any unpredictability with the definitive treatment outcome. We're going to talk a bit about shaping the titanium provisional abutments in such a way to maximize the gingival volume. A few techniques that we've developed we have found to be quite helpful with maximizing the aesthetic outcome of the gingiva. In reshaping the provisional abutment, we will also preserve the peri-implant bone and the potential peri-implant gingiva. Here you'll see we'll go through some shaping of the emergence profile to help maintain a highly biologically compatible and aesthetic outcome in the definitive restoration. See, much of what we do in the provisional restoration affects where we end up with the definitive restoration. We'll talk about moving from the stage one provisional to the stage two provisional. And this is, will be done in accordance with the data we have from the literature, minimizing the reconnections to the head of the implant as much as is practically possible. We have developed some techniques, as I mentioned, for the impression techniques, which are highly efficient and highly accurate ways to transfer this information to our partners in the laboratory. I will speak briefly as well about splinting the impression copings for inter-implant accuracy. The research supporting and opposing this viewpoint will also be discussed. Throughout the program, we will be using a few clinical cases to, as a case point in terms of showing the ideas that we've developed. I hope you join me for this program and I hope to see you again soon. For more education programs, visit the Guide Institute at www.guidedental.com.